rejuvenating the hands, phlebotherapy, and adipose filling with feeding. The hands can be rejuvenated by eliminating any patches on the skin, reducing the caliber of the veins, and performing adipose filling in order to restore the volume of the subcutaneous tissues and enhance the quality of the skin. Liposuction is carried out by means of a 60 milliliter syringe, a catheter, and a 4 millimeter diameter cannula. We normally aspirate a larger amount of fat than that which is to be injected. The volumetric cellular suspension that is not injected can be conserved at temperatures of between minus 20 degrees centigrade and minus 31 degrees centigrade and utilized to correct or enhance the same area or another area in the following months. The aspirated lobular fat is placed in a flask equipped with a tap and washed with Ringer solution or physiological solution until the washing liquid becomes clear and transparent. The washed lobular fat is then placed in a beaker together with a one-third volume of Ringer solution or physiological solution. We now aspirate 10 milliliters of a 5% glucose solution to which we add 30 international units of rapid insulin. The solution with the insulin is added to the fragmentation liquid. The cap is removed from the adipopima and the bell end of the device is immersed into the washed lipoaspirate. The aspiration vortex created by the adipopima fragments the lobules in a few seconds, producing the suspension to be used in volumetric adip adipofilling. A small amount of this suspension of lobular fragments is placed in another beaker. The adipopima transforms this material into a suspension of living adipose and stromal cells. When the beaker is inclined, a uniform layer of cells appears on the glass. This cellular suspension is then added to the volumetric suspension. The material is placed in 20 milliliter syringes equipped with caps. The syringes are then placed vertically inside a beaker and left to stand so that the lobular fragments and the single cells can separate from the fragmentation liquid by means of sedimentation. In the meantime, we use a dermographic pen to mark the points of access of the cannula. An anesthetic solution containing epinephrine is injected at these points. We now carry out phlebotherapy of the dilated veins of the hand. We add half a milliliter of 2% lidocaine to a 4 milliliter vial of 6% sodium salicylate in a buffered hydroglycerin vehicle. The solution is injected by means of a 2.5 milliliter syringe and a 25G needle. We do not want to close the dilated veins. Our aim is to reduce the caliber and to strengthen the walls of the visible veins so that they will not dilate excessively when warm. The suspensions created by means of the adipopima are now injected through a thin 21G cannula 7 cm in length. In this patient, we have injected 12 milliliters into the back of the right hand. 
we now perform phlebotherapy of the veins on the back of the left hand. When the weather gets hotter, these veins will no longer dilate, and the hand will have a more youthful look. In some patients, phlebotherapy is also carried out in the veins of the forearm. We now perform adipofilling of the left hand. Adipofilling transforms an aged hand into a young hand. This simple ambulatory procedure permanently corrects one of the most evident and least manageable signs of aging. To access this material you must subscribe to the crpub.org medical video journal. Subscription is free and reserved for medical doctors only.